Hello learners, good morning. How was your weekend? I hope everything is fine. All right, quickly, we'll be looking at our topic for today, community sanitation. What is community sanitation? The word sanitation itself is the act of cleaning, is the practice of hygiene. Now, when we merge it with community, we are not talking about the work we do to keep our environment and surroundings clean in the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, having known that, let us talk about ways to keep the environment clean. That is, ways to practice this community sanitation, this act of keeping our surroundings where we live, where we find ourselves living. How do we keep that um, surrounding clean? One, we have proper waste disposal. This has to do with throwing of dirt properly into where they should be, then the proper use of our restrooms, not the habit of urinating and defecating anywhere you see, just like the way other people do. No, when we do that, the environment becomes messy. But if you keep your, if you throw your debts into your waste bin or into your trash cans, you make use of your restroom wherever you are pressed, then you are practicing community sanitation. Number two, we have the proper use of toilets, okay, which I've just said. Because the use of toilet help is also categorized under waste disposal. After making use of the toilet, what do you do? Some of us, when we are done defecating, we just stand up, wipe our butts, and then we run out. Please flush. Number three, we have allowing drainages to flow. Talk about these drainages, what is usually referred to as gutters. We must always ensure that we keep our drainages clean. Continuous um, raking off dirt and sweeping, assuming it is dried, then sweep, pack off the, the sand and the dirt off the drainage so that whenever rain falls, the water can flow. There will be no form of stagnant water. When this is done, the environment is being kept clean. Number four, we have cutting down bushes around our homes and schools. If you do not cut down bushes around your homes and school, what will happen? You will find dangerous um, creatures like snakes in the bush. Snakes live only in very bushy environment. An environment that is thorough, an environment that is clean, a snake cannot be found there. This is why we must cut down our bushes around our homes. Also, when you cut down the bushes, it gives this aura of beauty to the place. The, the, the place looks beautiful when the bushes have been trimmed down. All right. Now, what are the reasons for community sanitation? In other words, what are the importance? Why is it good for us to practice this community sanitation? Number one, to prevent illnesses and diseases. Any bushy environment, any unkempt environment has, even apart from snakes, has mosquitoes, cockroaches, rats, and over time, before this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we were even dealing on the, um, we were dealing, Nigeria was dealing about um, this Lassa fever, and it is being carried by rats. Though it has a species of rats, but all rats are carriers of that um, virus. So we must endeavor to keep our environment clean, so that we do not fall victim of illnesses like malaria being caused by mosquitoes and Lassa fever and all of that. Then number two we have to prevent snakes, right? I even just talked about it. To prevent snakes and other dangerous creatures. A snake, whether it is big or small, a snake is a snake. It has venom in it and it can kill. Number three, to make the environment neat and smell nice. Any messed up environment doesn't smell nice. Imagine you enter maybe somewhere and then you see 
feces there. That way, some group of people have urinated, um, paper, dirt, everywhere, littered about. When you enter, if you step into such surrounding, the surrounding doesn't have a good smell, it doesn't smell well. All you get is bad odor. So, we must endeavor to do these things so that our environment will be healthy and safe for us. Now, in order for us to keep this our uh, environment and surroundings clean, what are the materials needed? We have broom, we have brush, we have this brush, we have the sweeping brush, then the scrubbing brush. We have cutlass or machete, we have hoe, we have rake, we have mop, we have buckets, then we have disinfectants. Not forgetting soap. We also have soap. And the places where you have to mop, you must use soap as a practically wash before you add disinfectants in the water to wipe off the surface entirely. When we practice all of these sanitation, when we practice all of these hygiene acts, we are sure of living a healthy and safe life. Thank you very much.